D Brigade. Honestly, with so much emphasis on Beelzemon, Hunters, and more Greymon, D Brigade in my testing has actually been a very strong matchup against these three. But you don't have to take my word for it, mainly because I highly recommend you testing it yourself in your own matchups. As always, I'll cover the card by card, the strengths, the weaknesses, and the combos. For level 2s, this deck runs strictly BT6 Pagumon and a single copy of EX3 Missimon. BT6 Pagumon is your MVP of the level 2s, considering if your Digimon is deleted, you get to reveal the top card. If it's a black Digimon, add it to your hand. Otherwise, you have 13 potential cards that whiff. Although there are option cards, sometimes they do appear in the security right at the most convenient time. As for EX3 Missimon, this level 2 Digimon gives you Reboot, a chance to evade your opponent's offensive swing. But this can also bite you in the butt if you're in the WarGreymon matchup. Because Beelzemon has such low stat line cards early game, Tamers and Option cards, in some instances, your level 3 might survive. Hunters is arguably your best matchup. You're just too damn fast. But level 3 wise, you run 30 rookies. And while you may think, that is a huge number of rookies. You run the primary D Brigade core, two Hagurumons, and eight security rookies. Commandramon, from as far back as BT3, is a cheap body to play. BT4 is one of your best rookies to cycle with in the Beelzemon and Hunter matchup. Meanwhile, you've now got Blocker from BT5, Decoy from EX3, and a big chonky boy from the original starter deck. With the inclusion of security rookies, you now have four possible options to de-digivolve your opponent's Digimon by one level, thanks to Chikurimon, or even play potentially free body and add another rookie to hand in the case of Dorumon. While this deck is heavily rookies, you can set up aggressive plays early game. Hagurumon has numerous targets for setting up the trash for that final attacker with Dartramon. For level 4s, it's simply two Mercurymons for the endgame attacker hybrid for game or even setting up a blocker. But outside of that, your only other Digimon are Darkdramon for rushing in, and Death Exmon, because that's what makes a deck meta-relevant. Option card-wise, you run DG Dimension, an A-cost option card that de-digivolves one on up to three of your opponent's Digimon. Then you delete three Digimon, with a play cost of six or less. This option card is amazing against Hunters, considering they only ever go up to level five unless they're already at Quartzmon. Luckily, you have other cards to help you out with that. Ultimate Flare, DDG evolves 3 on 1 Digimon, then wipes the board of all your opponent's Digimon with a play cost of 3 or less. This card isn't as useful against Hunters, but against Raid War Greymon, it is exceedingly obnoxious. Iron Fisted Onslaught deletes all of your opponent's Digimon with the highest play cost, while Pride Memory Boost helps sets up for next turn plays or even playing a body for free. Congo is run as a one-of, because this card can affect other rush decks and against Beelzemon decks prevents your opponent from attacking you directly to go into their Beelzemon X play and win the game. Tamer-wise, Izzy Izumi is your memory setter, being a pseudo half-spark in the security, considering every card in the deck is black. Kazu helps fix up your hand or dig deeper in your endgame finishers, whether it be Mercurymon or Darkramon. But overall, D Brigade has a very strong matchup in my opinion against Hunters. Their main way to remove your Digimon will be through their Shoutmon and Omni Shoutmon effects. However, by playing BT4 Commandermons, you guarantee another body the next turn. Likewise, this can be the same effect with Beelzemon, but if they manage to go into their starter deck 14 Impmon, the matchup changes a smidge. Luckily, some of your option cards can deal with it. War Greymon is honestly this deck's worst matchup, but if you have one thing they don't have, it's speed. With consistency, you typically do not mulligan, meaning you'll never have to rely on a mulligan for an optimal hand. Decks like War Greymon, however, can be clunky and as a result, can go from a bad hand to a worse hand on occasion. In general, D Brigade is still very fun, and although Death Exmon is the most expensive card in the deck, the deck itself and other avenues is very budget friendly. As a result, for Ultimate Cup, you need change only two cards in the build. Maybe you want that fourth Dark Dramon and a third copy of Pride Memory Boost. Who knows? I haven't tested too much for Ultimate, but for two flex spots, it makes for an easy way to change it up. What are your thoughts on D Brigade in the BT12 format? Are there changes you'd make, or are there other elements of the deck you'd change? Let me know your thoughts, and if you enjoyed the video, do consider liking it 
subscribing to the channel, and hitting that notification bell to follow me more through my adventures of the Digimon trading card game. This is Digipanda, logging out.